Hello everyone. In this video, we will make a web application which would contain one HTML form and we will submit that form to the servlet and then from the servlet flow will go to the Java server page. So we would have three files, HTML, servlet and Java server page. New project. We can name this new project as project four so index.html file is automatically generated html form in this so we will create a one form very basic one like it will contain one input box for entering username input type would be text name would be username and another field for password type would be password so we can add some horizontal break here username password and we also need some big button Input Subject. basically html form very simple one having one username thing and password thing So we will submit that form to one servlet. So here I have to define my action. Action would be uh, this name should be servlet name. So let's suppose I will create one servlet with this name, new servlet. That's fine. Okay, now it's connected. Uh, so whenever we will click that submit button, flow will go to the new server. So in servlet, we can get these values. So let's go with my username. I can get the values which are submitted from the form. Request attribute. This, this name should be same as this one, okay? So I will just copy paste for password thing. So after getting username and password from the user, we can check from database these credentials. But, but for this simple example, we are just forwarding that your username and password is correct to another JSP page.
So message We will forward to message.jsp page. So we have to create that JSP page named as message. And in message.jsp, we are just printing. So in message.jsp, we are just printing the message that we are receiving from the server. So we can run our project. Username is admin. We can enter password, submit, and we can see the results from the server that that credentials are correct. 